Hello, dear friends. We are happy to welcome you to our new video, to our daily vlog. And today we have something very important to share with you. Say hello to your audience. Hello. <laughs> yes, yeah, so today we are going to discuss a very important topic how to be a good conversationalist do you support me yes yes it's mutual we decided to share with you the secrets i would say five secrets of a good conversationalist of a person who is able to lead a good conversation and to listen to his opponent so according to me rule number one or secret number one is be a good listener always listen to your conversationalist don't interrupt yes <laughs> you're learning you're learning because sometimes you start talking and person cuts you in the middle of your sentence just to insert his own view and idea and it doesn't feel right and if you guys have this horrible habit try to be more aware of it try to not cut people try to give them microphone when you discuss something what do you think about being a good listener is it easy are you a good listener you are absolutely right. I'm a terrible listener, but I'm obviously in this video, I'm a good one. Uh, can you come up with rule number two? I said about rule number two already in previous videos, so you have to go and check them. And rule number two is the two-second rule. You know the two-second rule. Now you have to tell them the two-second rule, where it comes from and why it is important. Yes. Well, the two-second rule comes from... Um, pick up artist community and according to these guys if you want to seduce opposite sex or same sex if you're gay what you need to do after the person finishes his or her statement wait for two seconds one apple two apple and then talk it will make the person um, believe that you actually care about this statement and it will give you some extra time to process the statement of this person am i right yes you are right and there is something more to say about the two second rule why do you remember why in relationship to the seducing and the pickup and the, when it comes to seducing the opposite sex or the same sex when you are trying to seduce the other person into something okay do you remember why yes because if you are not giving this two seconds to yourself you may miss uh, important thing that the person is ready to be either seduced or either taken to a coffee you may just miss the sign or word or indication that he or she is ready to be friends with you yes what this is called it's a specific word that you that i used in the previous video what is the the two words you just describe them, but you did not emphasize on the, yes, what is it? I don't know. You did not hear it, or you don't aware of it? I probably didn't catch it. Okay, the two words are 
in relationship to seduction, you may miss her main point. There's a difference between a lot of things that she will say or he will say in the seduction set, but there is one thing called the main point. So, if you implement the two second rules and you listen very carefully, you will catch the main point. In that, in that uh, example of seduction, the main point of the seducer is to catch the main point that she or he is ready. She may say, let's go to your place or let's go to that coffee shop or kiss me. But when you are not good listener, you don't implement the two second rule. It will go from here to here and you will miss opportunity. The question here is for you is what other example I gave in the previous video besides the seducing example? It was about sales, that some people, sales, sales people, sales persons, uh, they oversell. They talk so much and uh, once the client is ready to buy something, they may miss it because they want to talk and they are not listening and they are not giving themselves time to process the statement of the buyer. So they keep bothering the buyer with their words and sales tricks and guess what? The buyer is no longer interested. Yes, what are the, again, the two words that the salesperson missed? Yeah, I want to buy this. It should be like this, probably. I'm ready to buy it. Exactly. But the salesperson kept selling, selling, selling. And what is this called? Uh, a special sales term now. In the previous video. It is called undo the sell. The client said, I want to buy this. I want this watch, where should I pay? And that is the main point, but the salesperson did not hear the main point and he kept doing selling, selling, selling and undoing the sell instead of him to say, oh, fantastic sign here, here and here. Let's shake hands. Kumbaya, I'm a good listener. Yeah. Let's move on to secret number three. According to me, once again, it's my opinion. Um, if you are a good conversationalist, be able to listen, but not just this. Uh, be able to give the person all your attention, establish the eye contact, and express a genuine interest in what is uh, your opponent, opponent about to say yeah do not distract yourself don't be on your phone don't look around don't um, be in your head and in your thoughts just look the person into the eye express genuine interest in his words and give all your attention to your conversationalist what do you think about that Two things I catched from your talk. Number one, full attention, verbal, eye contact, relax, draw the person into your frame and become a magnet. Two distractions distractions are very dangerous and as i said the distractions are as follow these devices that we are actually glued to flip them like this this means this means disrespect this means respect you know what this means and uh, if you turn it off you will limit the distraction. So, in 
relationship to the distractions, they are not just that, they are everything. Like this, the sounds, the people around you, these people, the walking people, the cars. So for the distractions, try to limit the distractions whatever it is in your power like your personal distractions the phones the devices turn them off give full attention to your conversation ni conversational list yes okay great let's move on to secret number four and secret number four according to me <laughs> the wise owl <laughs> And the secret number four is, if you guys are discussing something and you have two completely different views on this particular topic, yours is white, mine is black, don't try to cut the person in the middle of the sentence by saying, like, this is a total nonsense, I don't believe in that, you are wrong, I am right, I know better, listen to me, I have more experience. I have more knowledge in this field. I lived a longer life. Listen to me. This is a big no, red flag, bad. <laughs> if you guys want to be a good conversationalist, listen to your opponent's statement. Listen to the end. Once he is done expressing his thoughts, say it's an interesting point, very unusual view point. But I have a, a little different opinion about this particular topic. And if you allow me, I'll express it now. I'll share with you. What do you think? Point number four goes like this. Implement a little bit. Machiavellism here with open mind. Yes, that's what she said. We're going to give you into a different perspective. You need to be a Machiavellist a little bit, which means, okay, I understand that you are so different. You have your opinions and your points of view. And I'm not criticizing it. It is a the second concept, I am understanding you with my open mind, and then the Machiavelli come again and says, uh, well, but I have a slightly different opinion, and if you want, I can share it with you. Yes. <laughs> okay, it's very interesting, <laughs> and I agree. So let's move on, move on to secret number five, according to me. Secret number. <laughs> according to me, secret number five is um, ask questions. Do not just listen. Yeah, li listening is good. Attention is good. Um, taking into consideration someone else's opinion is great. Two second rule is amazing. But to show your interest in any conversation, make sure you have at least one question related to the topic of your discussion. At least one, why not? And it helps um, to fight bad listeners. For example, if a person is taking his time, and he's talking for 10 minutes, you may say, wow, so interesting. Let me ask you a question. What do you think about secret number five of being a good conversationalist? Yes. Secret number five is ask questions. And here the old boy Ivan, with all his skills, will phrase it for you. The one that asks the questions has control of the direction of the conversation. Yes, I could not say it more eloquently so if you ask questions you can navigate where the conversation is going to 
if you implement rule number one, rule number two, rule number three, number four, and if you are crafty with rule number five, ask questions, well, you may control the outcome of the conversation, if you will. Will you? I don't know. It really depends on the conversationalist and his questions. Okay, guys, so there, it was five rules of um, good conversation and five secrets of how to be a good conversationalist. So rule number one is be a good listener. Rule number two is... Two. Two. Seconds. Seconds rule. <laughs> rule number three? Three. Give attention. Um, establish an eye contact. Do not distract. Do not allow the circumstances to distract you from conversation. Rule number four, you remember rule number four? Yes. Rule number four was about the distractions. Avoid the distractions. Was rule number three. Rule number three was, uh, was interest. Interest. Full interest. Distractions, noises from the environment, the cell phones. No, rule number four was about the respect and taking into consideration other people's opinion. Yes, be all ears, say I agree. Or maybe I disagree, but it's an interesting point. It was rule number four. And rule number five was ask questions. Rule number four was a Machiavellism plus open mind. Rule number five is ask questions. Yes, those were five very important secrets. Very simple, but very very important at the same time so if you guys try following these five rules i am more than sure that your conversationalist will be very happy feel very good after discussions with you and he or she will want to spend more time together and to have more discussions so it's up to you you may agree or you may disagree. If you disagree, please let us know in the comment below. If you agree, please do the same. Say, yeah, totally agree. And let us know what are your tricks, rules, and secrets. How do you keep a good conversation? And, yeah, what do you want to say to your audience? Stop this video right now. I will give you one, two, three, four, five. And now I'll give you the six. The six is the best. Bonus. Bonus rule 666. Keep it playful. One little trick that the old boy Ivan here is to implement. I just implemented it. Keep it unconventional. Keep it playful. Keep it out of the ordinary to induce more curiosity of your target opponent conversationalists the name of the rule number six will be be enigma stay enigmatic okay just keep it playful that's all yeah. and you should always be respectful to your conversationalist when you say, uh, for example, you can say, excuse me, can I now go and turn off the video camera because we do not have operator yet. You are very polite. I appreciate it a lot. And yes, of course, you are excused. <laughs> All right, dear friends and subscribers, you are our friends too. Thank you very much for watching our videos and thank you very much for liking them, to leaving your, for leaving your comments. We really appreciate it. And yeah, please subscribe, like our videos, share them with your friends. We love you.